Well, in Top Topic, we take a look at one of the biggest stories making news here in China over the past 24 hours. And today's topic deals with China's elderly. Now, according to various media reports and official statistics, the number of Chinese senior citizens is expected to reach 430 million in 2050, which will be 30 percent of the total population in China. And over 20 percent of Chinese senior citizens rely on their pensions. Du Peng, who is the director of the Research Institute of Gerontology at Rin University of China says that 24.1 percent of Chinese senior citizens rely on their pensions and 40.7 percent of those surveyed are cared for by their families or relatives as of 2010. The number of seniors relying on the subsistence allowance system has also increased from 1.6 to 3.9 percent over the past 10 years. Now, Du believes the amount of Chinese senior citizens relying on the pensions and subsistence allowance system has increased a great deal due to the rapid development of the Social Security system. In line with other developed countries, the main income source for seniors comes from their pensions. However, the income gap for seniors in rural and urban areas is quite large. Du said that the benefits of rural Social Security are lower than those on urban Social Security. Ari Hulkman, who is the UN Population Fund's China representative said on Monday at a seminar on aging that there will be one senior in every three Chinese citizens by 2050. Now, China has about 185 million people above the age of 60, which comes out to be around 13.7% of the total population. Now, these numbers come to us as, the, as of the end of last year. And that figure is expected to surge to 221 million in 2015, including 51 million empty nesters, or elderly people whose children no longer live with them. Now, experts at the seminar recommend improving economic and health support, building more facilities for urban and rural senior residents, encouraging them to participate in social activities and establishing a medical treatment network for the aging population. Well, hopefully reports like these will continue to bring attention to China's senior citizens.